So finally, more than a month of pre-order, I received the Spigen's Galaxy Z Fold 3 5G ThinFit P case that allows you to put in your S Pen onto the side of the case, which is really clever. Uh, now, because it was arriving so late, that's why I reviewed the Arari um, Galaxy Z Fold 3 case that actually is quite chunky, but it does allow uh, your S Pen to put in on the hinge and then also protect the hinge itself as well. I'm sure you checked out my previous video got regards to it, but it is really chunky as you can see. It's like a brick, um, but you do get an option to take it out, the S Pen uh, holder, so uh, it get, feels much thinner. But then again, I would like to see how thin it gets if you use the Spigen's uh, ThinFit P case. So let's do a quick comparison regards to these two to find out what is the actual ultimate perfect case for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. So let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. So the moment of truth, I believe Spigen always comes with this easy peelable option. Brilliant. And um, okay, so that's, that's pretty much it there. And easy to take it out. I can already feel the bit of a quality. This is really nice plastic, I have to say. Spigen always comes with this really good quality. And wow, look, and you can actually see there's this like adhesive prepared for you. So you've got to peel it all off. And I think these are the additional adhesive that you can use later on if you take it out and you want to put it back again. Uh, these are the quick instruction. Speaking always comes with this really good quality of um, products and I'm really pleased with it. It's just that they have delivered to me very late, which I'm really annoyed about. Anyhow, uh, yeah, it's very thin and very promising indeed. So let's apply this, shall we? First take off the Arari transparent case. So we're gonna say goodbye with this brilliant skin for a while. But let's actually try this as well. So let's actually try the front bit, shall we? So peel off this sticker. Nice, ASMR. Two, three, four. Wow, there's quite a lot, isn't there? Five and six. So that should be going this way, right? Make sure you push it right in. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the back side as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. That goes here, everyone. Wow, amount of thickness it adds. It's not as bad as I thought it's going to be, but um, let's get the S Pen out, shall we? And that goes here. Does it click in? Yeah, so it clicks in. So that's how it works. And um, yeah, so the chunkiness of it is not as chunky because this side is actually thinner. And when you open it up, that's how it looks. And on the back side, that's how it looks. And that's how thick the actual plastic is. So if we were to make a comparison with the Orari uh, case, it's actually, I don't know whether you can see, but slightly thicker and it kind of bends out a bit, maybe because I haven't actually pushed it right in, but it's going to take a bit of a time, but that's how it looks. Okay. So that's how it looks on the bottom side. Okay. Sideways top and the hinge is not protected. That's how it's going to look. So the Screen use itself is not going to be a problem at all. And you can still see the actual skin, teardown skin on the lens part. 
yeah, so that's pretty much it. Yes, yeah, so the Speakens Galaxy Z Fold 3 Thin Fit P doesn't feel as chunky as the um, Arari transparent case because, again, it only sticks out for the bit that uh, the S Pen slots in. So actually, when you open up, it's quite a nice feel, isn't it? The design itself. But the disappointing side is that I was hoping the actual seal itself will be much thinner, the way how it's titled, Thin Fit P, but it's chunkier uh, than the um, Arari case. Um, but the other thing is that on the top and the bottom as well, it sort of like sticks out. It's not like straight line for the top and the bottom, but I do like the color. Um, and the bit that actually there's this small bolt that sticks out, it's purely because it feels like a it doesn't really move at all. So if you completely open it up, it's really settled as well. The actual uh, case, it doesn't wiggle a bit at all. So there's a design reason behind it. So well done for that. Um, and then you, if you want to use the S Pen, all you need to do is just pull it out and then just slot it back in and you're all good to go. So that's pretty much it, people. But um, overall, should, I am actually quite happy with it. But you have to be a bit careful the way how you slot in because you can see my S Pen I actually have been bended, uh, which is a bit of a shame because you have to learn yourself how to slot it in. I think you have to push it down first and then slot it in. Um, but overall, it does everything except one bit, which is that it doesn't protect the hinge. So if you drop into the hinge, you're going to gather some scratch, should we say. So that's pretty much it, people. But what do you think is the ultimate case for the Samsung Z Fold 3? Do you think this speaking case is the perfect solution or the Arari or anything else but personally because I don't use S Pen that much I'm really inclined to use back to the silicon case that I actually claim in the beginning stage that this is the ultimate best case because this is still the thinnest case that I could get which has quality on it so I might go back to the Samsung silicon case in the long term but we shall see how it goes Anyhow, love to hear your views on this. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.